Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to do this text and rotoscope effect. Okay, so before we head into Premiere Pro and After Effects, I'm just going to break down what I'm going to be showing you guys today. So the steps are as follows. First step will be to rotoscope the subject. Second step, we have to create the text. Third, I'm going to show you guys how to do that outline and fill. Fourth step, we're going to keyframe the text. That's how we're going to slide the text out. For that is the Shake Sauce. Shake Sauce is a paid plugin. I'm going to leave the link in the caption as to where you can get that effect. And the last is just extras that you guys can do. So once you've opened up Premiere Pro, we're going to create a sequence. Command N for the shortcut. Choose your dimensions. We're just going to choose 1920 by 1080 for this one. See the text. Let's rotoscope tutorial. For this tutorial, I'm going to start from scratch. I use this clip. This clip is sick, so I think it'll be pretty cool to do the text effect for this. So we're going to color our footage for now. So we're just going to convert it back to Rec 709. I use a LUT from Ezco. They're S log 3 to Rec 709. Do some corrections. White balance is, oh, that's a bit too much. We do, that looks pretty good. And then let's just use a LUT from Adobe. Let's try Kodak 2383. Yeah, that looks beautiful. And for this, you're probably gonna want your clip slowed down. You don't want it to be at a part where it's moving too much. So maybe after I pan to it right here, as the smoke is coming out. Beautiful. Okay, now that we have our clip ready, we're gonna take it into After Effects. What you're gonna do is right click, replace with After Effects composition. Okay, so first step, we're going to rotoscope the subject. And to do that, you're going to click, oh, not that one. You're gonna look for the brush with the little stick man. Click that, and then you're gonna brush over your subject. So it didn't completely get it perfectly. But to subtract from the mask, hold Option or Alt, I think, for Windows. The hair is going to be tough, but the text won't really be around this part. So you don't need to be too picky as long as it somewhat covers it. And then once you're happy with your mask, you're going to click Freeze. And do 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 do. It's going to take a little bit. Oh, I just realized. So if it doesn't rotoscope perfectly, you can unfreeze it and then fix the mask. It's catching the net behind. And then you can just click freeze again. Please stay. Please. Oh, there we go. That was actually a pretty good rotoscope. Sometimes it's just a hit or miss. You just never know with rotoscoping. But there we go. Again, it's not super perfect, but if you want, you can clean it up or just leave it as so. It won't be too bad since we're just putting text on. If you want to clean up your rotoscope, you can increase the feather. I usually just increase it to around 20 and that should be good. And then we have a rotoscope. We're gonna duplicate this, name this our background layer, just so we're a bit organized. Okay, perfect. And then what we're gonna do on our background layer, select your background layer and delete the rotoscope. Perfect. Okay, now the text. I think I want it to say his jersey number and then so we're gonna do 55, jersey number, and then his last name. I'm gonna do Wuwen. Nice. Okay, now that we have that, it's gonna change the size of this. Maybe just about this thing. Okay, perfect. Oh, and if you're wondering what fonts I'm using, this is the Stretch Pro font, one of my favorite fonts. So yeah, feel free to try it out for this. Okay, text is finished. And then now I'm going to show you guys how we have the text and fill. I mean the stroke and fill. So what we're going to do, I'll start with 55 first. We're going to duplicate it. And then again, just so to stay organized, I'm going to name this 55 outline. For the 55 outline, we're going to keep the stroke checked. And then for this, name it. 55. You're going to bring that under the rotoscope layer. And then you're going to uncheck this and click fill. That's how you get that effect. Pretty nice. Looks pretty good. And then you're just going to do the same thing for the moon cap. There you go. We're almost done. We're almost done. Looks pretty fire already. 
even without the other things we're gonna add. Okay, so basically we want the mowing cat because that's what we're gonna keyframe. So what we're gonna do is we're going to take the outline and duplicate it twice. And then as it goes up, bring around the midpoint, select both out outline duplicates, press P for position, make a keyframe. And then I think here, that's where we want it to slide out. Okay, so we want the slide out to be faster. So we're gonna make another keyframe. We're gonna take this keyframe, move it here. We actually want it to happen earlier. So take those keyframes out, bring this in closer. And I think it's a bit too far. Let me put it closer, that feels better. Yeah, okay, that looks way better. And then we're gonna have it go back. So make another keyframe and then copy these ones. Okay, nice. Okay, and then we're gonna ease it to select these keyframes and ease the keyframes. And if you wanna ease your keyframes, I have a shortcut for it, number two. But you can also just right click keyframe assistant and then easy ease. There we go. And then we can also turn on motion blur for the text. So select those, select the text for Mooncat and click this guy here. There we go. Looks way better. And we're almost done, guys. Okay, now we're going to add the shake sauce. From the previous example that I you that I showed you guys, it goes from another clip, so it shakes into this clip. So what we're gonna do just to show that extra shake is we're going to cut the 55 shorter, and then we'll add a shake as it pops. Okay, so the plugin I used, again, I will add the link into the description down below. So we're gonna add the shake sauce here. So we're just gonna use this presets. Let's try, oh, sorry. We're gonna use the keyframed ones. I'm gonna try quick, nice. I don't mind that. And then for the moving cut part, maybe let's try stomp. Actually, I don't like that. We're gonna go back. I think we'll do the stomp actually at the beginning. So we're gonna add stomp when 55 shows up. Nice, okay, I like that better. And then we're not gonna add a shake there, but we're gonna add it as this pops up. So we're gonna add, let's try Twitch, see how that looks. Oh, that's too much. We're just gonna, so on the Twitch, on the Twitch preset, just press U to show the keyframes. And then we're just gonna drag it closer. Cause I think it just drags on way too long, maybe even closer, nice. Okay, let's see that again. Beautiful. And then if you want to, you could add another one as it goes away, or we'll just add it too. Okay, so just add another one, and then that could lead into another clip. So I'm just going to cut these clips. Nice, beautiful. Looks good. Um, you can add glow to the text, and you can also add some things to the rotoscope background. So what I like to do usually is I will unsaturate the background layer. Just add the U and saturation effect. Just turn down saturation. And there you go. This adds a cooler effect to it. Um, and if you want, you can also add radial blur. Just to add more texture. You usually like to put the around between three to six, I think is good. So let's see how that looks. Yeah, that looks money. So now we're gonna add glow to the text. So let's start with 55. We're just gonna add it to the outline. I use the glow from Red Giant, but you can just use the glow built within After Effects. We're gonna turn down the intensity to um, 0.6 maybe. Yeah, that looks pretty. And then copy that and paste it onto the Moon Cat outline. And there you go. Man, that looks sick. And there you guys have it, the text and rotoscope effect. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If there's any more tutorials you guys would like to see, just let me know down in the comments below. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Oh my God, that took way too long, but we killed it.